bitter cold, howling winds, frozen ocean. Hundreds lost their lives in the race to be the first to discover the North Pole. But on April 6, 1909, after several daring attempts, the U.S. Naval Commander Robert Peary, his trusted assistant Matthew Henson, and their four Eskimo team members who are masters of survival finally reached the top of the world. Robert Peary received honor and recognition, while Matthew Henson, who was an African American, was met with racism and largely ignored. Over the years, Henson wrote a book about his adventures and with the help of others, eventually was able to take his rightful place in history as the co-discoverer of the North Pole. The glory that came to this orphan who had conquered so many odds included honorary degrees, formal recognition from presidents and Congress, and a U.S. Navy ship named in his honor. Henson also received a hero's final resting place, along with Peary, in Arlington National Cemetery. Now his story is helping to launch the development of a new maritime museum in Camden. He is a mariner, he's a navigator, uh, a sailor at, at age 12. What could be better as a symbol for the new museum than this individual? Uh, he is someone who's increasingly recognized as a hero, but certainly in, in his day was not accorded all the due that he deserved. Here was an opportunity to really set things right and create what is, to the best of our knowledge, the first life-size, actually larger than life-size statue to Matthew Henson. I knew very little about him before this, was, this project was brought up. And then the more and more I read about him, the more I understand you know, that, that this is a story worth telling. On a rainy day in Camden, some people called it Henson weather. The sculpture was unveiled. 